what's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending to On V103. Time for the trending topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This particular edition has a lot to do with a lot of people in some kind of relationship of some sort or some passion of some kind of way. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start with Young Jock. Well, let's see. Young Jock says he's a little upset about this uh, possibility of his baby mama being on a show called Baby Mamas of the ATL. First of all, who signs up to be on a show called Baby Mamas? <laughs> wow. He says um, he's going to do everything in his power to stop his baby mama from airing their dirty laundry on reality TV, starting with banning his kids from stepping in front of the camera. Uh, he said he's uh, a little upset. Hassan White might be showing, uh, signing on to the show called, well, actually, the, the name is called Baby Mamas of Atlanta, Virginia, Denver, and Los Angeles. That makes absolutely no baby mama sense. But anyway, he says the rapper uh, rapper says his uh, lawyers are noodling over their options in the form of legal options, explaining he will sue the dog mess out of her if she even thinks about doing the show. Uh, the show's producers are unmoved, saying they will go on the air in January. Uh, the update is saying Hasina or Hasina has not signed on signed any contract or release form to appear on the show, according to her rep. She has a rep now? Okay. Uh, the rep claims the footage was supposed to highlight Hasina's friend Yolanda Hammonds, who I'm assuming is somebody else's baby mama. Let's move on to a- another person who's in a kind of a situation with their significant or ex-significant other. Terrence Howard uh, apparently cooked up a diabolical plot to hide his fortune from the court and his ex-wife. At least that's what Michelle Gent, his ex-wife, is saying. She's saying Terrence owes a fortune in back spousal support and legal costs for $180,000 to be exact, and she wants the court to force him to pay. Terrence claimed most of his earnings go directly to another ex-wife, Lori McMaster's, in the form of support, and there's not enough left over to pay Michelle. But in Michelle's new court doc, she says Terrence admitted back in 2013 that he created fake debt to Ms. McMaster's, that's the new baby mama, uh, saying his plan was to make it look like he had no cake, okay? He told her, I am not going to give you one cent. Michelle says Terrence Hall in $1.3 million last year and has steady work lined up for the next two years that will pay him handsomely. Bottom line, she wants her dough. Y'all better move that dough. Terrence, Terrence, Terrence better move that dough. Let's move on to somebody else. Moving that dough and moving along with their life. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra may have to confess what she knew about Apollo's criminal activity. Uh, according to TMZ, Parks will have to address Apollo's activities in a, des- in a disposition uh, for a death Defamation lawsuit she bought against author uh, Angela Stanton. In a previous deposition, Phaedra was asked about Nida's criminal behavior, but she reportedly refused to answer the questions clearly. A Stanton's attorney says testimony is essential for them to put up a fair defense against Phaedra's lawsuit. Paolo, currently serving an eight-year sentence for bank fraud, uh, since he began serving his sentence, Phaedra has reportedly started the process of ending their marriage. I'm going to end this report with that. If you missed any part of it, head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to my uh, report, but you can also see my... I ain't trying to get married and divorce in the first place, face. You did. Y'all stick around. More Big Ticket Show next on V103.